In India, when people think of turtles, it's marine turtles that first come to mind. Perhaps this is because India is the largest breeding ground of marine turtles in the world. On the eastern coast in Orissa, thousands of olive ridleys come every year to lay their eggs. But this country is not just home to marine turtles. Further inland, the vast rivers and wetlands of India are rich with turtle fauna. Unlike marine turtles, we barely know about freshwater turtles and tortoises. While freshwater turtles are primarily aquatic, tortoises live on land. With 28 species of freshwater turtles and tortoises, India's natural diversity of turtles is one of the richest in the world. Some of these species are found nowhere else. Ancient cultures have revered the turtle. In India, the turtle is said to be an incarnation of Lord Vishnu the preserver of all creation. Perhaps turtles were considered sacred because they play a crucial role in the environment. They are the vultures of our waterways. As scavengers, they feed on decaying organic matter. These wastes are converted into rich biomass and waters are rejuvenated. Waters that sustain life. In a remote village in Hardoi district in northern India, man and turtle coexist peacefully. Passed on through generations, turtle conservation is a way of life. This coexistence reflects a deep human understanding of ecology. हमारे गांव में सफाई ज्यादा है मतलब कीड़े इड़े भी नहीं है ज्यादा ना मच्छर है ना गंदगी है आसपास गांव के नालियां सब साफ हैं कीटाणु या कीड़े सब गछुआ से खा जाते हैं दो सेक्रेड टू मोस्ट पीपल इन इंडिया फॉर सम मार्जिनल कम्युनिटीज turtles have been a source of food. Hunting turtles is banned, but impoverished families take their chances with the law. With growing human population, the pressure on turtles in the wild is intensifying. For millions of people in Southeast Asia, turtles are a delicacy. They are killed in overwhelming numbers for meat and used in traditional Chinese medicine. With the increasing economic affluence of China, demand for turtles has reached a new high. Native turtle populations in China have already been exhausted. With the little left within China, now turtles from surrounding countries are hugely sought after. For over 20 years, China has imported more than 10,000 tons of live turtles every year. 15% of these 
are smuggled from the Indian subcontinent. In the North Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, turtles are collected from the wild to feed the markets of Southeast Asia. Collection centers like Jagdishpur are spread across the state, supported by a large illegal network. This illegal trade of freshwater turtles is a million dollar machinery at work. से स्मगलिंग का इतना बड़ा नेटवर्किंग है पूरा एक संजाल फैला हुआ है तो उसको तोड़ना ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है और उसके लिए जो स्पेशलाइजेशन होना चाहिए संभवतः अभी हमारी एजेंसीज के पास नहीं है इसमें बहुत बड़ा स्पेशलाइजेशन चाहिए इन फार्मर्स का बहुत बड़ा रोल है ज़्यादातर तो हमको बड़े कंसाइनमेंट मिलते हैं जो कि डेफिनेटली यकीन हर तरह से हम कह सकते हैं कि ये मीट के लिए जा रहा है जिस तरह से पूरे पूरे के पूरे कंसाइनमेंट जाते हैं बड़े बड़े बास्केट्स में बोरों में भर के ट्रेन से जाता है ट्रक से जाता है सीमा रेखा के पार चाइना या दूसरे कंट्रीज को भी जाता हो इस संभावना से इनकार नहीं किया जा सकता कम होते हुए वेटलैंड से जिस तरह से कछुए निकल के जा रहे हैं तस्करी हो रही है पकड़े जा रहे हैं लोग मामला तो बहुत सीरियस है Soft shell turtles are being targeted for something more valuable than their meat. Plastron, a cartilage extracted from the turtle and used extensively for soup and Chinese medicine. Border pe, aur jitne dabbe hote hain, sab pe made in Korea, ya made in China, ye mohar laga rehta hai. Usko pack karke, bas wahi se by year jata hai. It proves easier to transport than live animals. This alone has increased the pace and scale of the trade at an alarming rate. The exotic pet trade of tortoises is also fast expanding into countries like Malaysia and Singapore. At least 50,000 Indian star tortoises are rescued from the trade every year. A fraction of the real numbers that go unnoticed. Today, India's turtles are facing the biggest ever threat to their survival. पहले से ज़्यादा तस्करी हो रही है, पहले से ज़्यादा धड़ल्ले से शिकार भी हो रहा है। ज़्यादा नहीं हम कह सकते हैं, तो दस गुना ज़्यादा हो ही रहा है। Large-scale poaching and mass trapping of the turtles has begun to deplete populations from the wild. Almost all freshwater species are now endangered, and some critically. Three species are already extinct from the Ganga, and more could disappear if poaching continues. A lot of species have been in the trade and, and since there has been no uh, real conservation efforts or long-term programs or even management, now we've reached a stage where several species have become critically endangered. If no conservation efforts are put into place, we are going to lose a, a lot of species. Conservationists are trying to reverse the declines and prevent the extinction of some of these species. Efforts are now on to breed turtles in captivity 